Uh, everyday superpower. Or we talk body language, relationships, game, human dynamics, everything in between. Today, I'm going to say this. When you pass her tests, she will see you as more. More attractive, more masculine, more valuable, more sexy, and so on and so forth. Oh, if a woman ever tested me, I'd leave her, is what you see from time to time in comment sections and whatnot bruh you clearly must never have ever 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 been with a woman or you still have your sunshades on to not acknowledge the fact that it is within a woman's biological nature to test you as a man to ensure not only her survival but clarify correctness clarify a confirmation for her biological need to procreate with a man she will test you she will test your boundaries she wants to identify who you are most of this is subconscious right this is this is running game above and beyond what 99 percent of men do or can do this is you know on this general space people say oh see if she's texting other boys find out if she's attracted to you with these free crazy tips what she's doing to you is testing the limitations and extent of your boundaries and principles and morals as a man she is going beneath your skin into your character and she does it halfway without even knowing why she's doing it she needs to do it she needs to know who you are such as i need to know who you are if I'm working with you, I need to know who you are and what your character is. Why am I going to sign a contract with you for two years, establishing a business with you? If you're lazy, if you're non-punctual, if you're a liar, if you can deceive me, if you don't stand on your word. Bro, we men need to take tips from the woman in this regard. The female nature has her sussed and does so in an incredible valuing way that really, really enhances the power of the feminine i adore that i love that so we need to understand that we are getting tested we will get tested you go on a first date of course you're going to get tested you go on a second date you are going to get tested she doesn't know who you are bro she does not know who you are it's completely fine and you can say i just had a date and i didn't get tested once trust me it wasn't clear to you but there's always an observation of who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, how you're acting, who bought the drinks, what distribution of the finances was spent whilst buying them drinks, who played what role, who's good with who, where do we play structurally, value wise in the marketplace, and you're new to this game if you're not in awareness of these things so people say oh I'd, I'd throw a woman away if she ever tested me all right i understand where you're coming from who wants to deal with that it's, it's a pain right it's an unfortunate reality and when you start to understand why and how she would do so you should slowly and surely become at ease and just be understanding of it why, why the hell not you can't change it you know what's that law of power disdain that as to which you can't have there is a parallel with that i can't change it so hey who am i to care about it yeah but consider it sometimes it's blatant 
But when you first get into the game and when you start learning and when, hey, before you start learning, you will get poked at by the women and you'll probably f fail a lot of times. I remember I went on a date with a woman who was older with me. Like older women are classic for this. If you, if you date an older woman, bro, she'll be eating 90% of men alive. I honestly believe that. These, these women are way smarter than men. Hey, this is this is a love channel, right? This is, we don't hate on women. So you'll be sitting there. Oh, let, let me tell you my story. I'll, I'll be sitting there dating this woman. Don't don't get me wrong. I passed to an extent where it went well, but bro, I was dumb as hell. She had me speaking to her dad on the phone and the lot whilst we were dating. I didn't question none of these actions. I said, ah, oh, we're talking music. Ah, oh, this band's better than that band. And she goes, oh, you know, my dad's a big fan of that band. He'll disagree with you. She puts me on the phone to her dad to see how I would act in relation and if I would stand on principle to the man in her life. I was a young boy. I was a young, I didn't, I didn't understand these things. We're on our second date when this happened and on this second date she's testing to see if i am family material how am i gonna get along with her parents we don't have to perceive it this way but this is the reality of it and when we learn to understand what's going on you know like i said i was younger and she was older than me i was living at home at the time i was i hadn't moved out and she made a comment, clearly. She just like, oh yeah, yeah. She didn't know where I was living. She didn't know where I was living. And she, oh yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Go, go home and live with your mom. She made a comment to put the feelers out to see if she was right in her understanding and how I would react. And I passed in the realm that I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do live with my mom, you know. So, so bloody be it. What do you expect? You're dating a, a man who is younger than you and we're both relatively young, so. I'm not, I'm not to be ashamed of that. And these things happen, right? These things do happen. Um, man, when we're young and naive, these things just go over our heads. But when we start to assess it and understand it, then it just becomes a whole part of the general communication because we are always jumping through hoops. We're jumping through each other's hoops in order to get into the hoop. Yeah, metaphorically speaking. So when you pass the test it's in your favor consider it like when we talk about gaming like in a game sense running game peeping game there is a a game like application like a fun game like a video game like application to this game you should not be anxious of these tests you should be completely accepting and in embrace of these tests because when you pass these tests you are seen as more valuable in her eyes and you surpass every man who has failed that test prior this is good game your stocks go up when you fail it in the best case scenario you just remain neutral in the eyes of her or you could depending on the severity of it you can plummet you can plummet the moment she says, oh, who texted you? Is that a girl? And it was a girl. And she knows it's a girl. And you lie to her. Your stock's a plummet. You've become a liar. You've become a liar. You're, you're hiding parts of your life. You're, you're going to cheat on me down the line. Uh-oh. You're going to cheat on me. My child is going to end up without a father. Uh-oh. That's what her womb is telling her. That's what her soul and spirit is telling her. That's what her ancestors are telling her from beyond the grave. Real talk. She got a strong father figure in her life. She don't need to see a weak man in you. Real talk. This is game. But when you say to her, yeah, yeah, it's just some girl I was speaking to, innit? But I'm here with you, so let's ignore that. That's the truth. I am here with you. Let's concentrate on each other. I'm not here responding. I'm not here to get my mobile phone out and start texting other people whilst we're here dating. I'm with you. You're precious to me. Yeah? 
I'm a free man. We've only just started dating. Of course, I'm speaking to other women. I am a trophy. I am an attractive man. You'll raise your value in the eyes of her. You've just passed her test. Yeah, she's an acknowledgement and she best be on her best behavior because truth be told, yeah, you do have options. Why wouldn't you? What, how, would, how would it make her feel if you said, oh yeah, you were the first person I could get on a date and I, I jumped at the idea of going on a date. Nobody else would take me. She's going to perceive herself as a loser for being with you. These are the intricacies of these little statements, of these little pokes. She will be there and she will say, you've got a pretty big nose, you know. And you could say, oh, what? oh, I thought that I was very insecure as a kid about that. I could say, yeah, no, I could drive a bus up these nostrils. You know what I mean? That's what my mum used to tell me. That's a joke, isn't it? Let's put a smile on each one of our faces. Yeah, I'm completely in ownership of who I am. You can't hurt me, right? A man can't hurt me, let alone a woman. Yeah. You're not going to get this on the next date and the next date. You haven't had this before this date. I stand on this masculine principle. I like you. I like the way you're testing me. You're showing interest. How many more do I have to jump through, love? Do you get me? And then if you were to ever bring it up, do you, you, you test me all the time. She'll say, no, I don't. Blah, 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 blah. You'll never get the truth out of her. She probably doesn't even know that she is, but through your eyes, through your perception, through your logical capabilities, you can identify that she most definitely is. So just keep doing it. And she'll test you more if she's in question of who you are, if she's in question of if you are, like, a good match for her. If she borderline wants to be disrespectful to you, and you as a man shouldn't take too much like overt disrespect there should come to a point where you do say fucking hell how much grilling do you want to do do you know what i mean because even that is a test in itself if she continues to intentionally stand on your toes at some point she's going to be wanting you to just be like give up and put her in her place because if you wouldn't let the next man do that let's say someone you perceive as below you if you literally perceive them as such and you're confident around them and they keep taking the piss out of you, there's going to be a point where you just say, shut up. Yeah? You don't react emotionally, but you just say, give up, man. Then there comes a point with that. Yeah? Always be ready to leave the table. What? Do you want to argue on our first date? Well, if that's the case, I'll go, should I? Simple. Sayonara. Let her deal with the next idiot who can get walked all over yeah people complain and say ah western women and all this the masculinization of the western woman trust me that woman will be within her feminine if she deems that man in position for her to be so if she wants to appease him she will do so if she's going out of a way to annoy you and going out of a way to be an be irritant to you take the blame be a man take ownership it must be me that's no problem. If it must be me, I'm going to have to uh, put a brick wall up and leave. Because I can't be doing any more of this testing. We don't correlate. I'm not, I'm not fussed about this. Simple. Job done. There we go. Goodbye. Move on to the next. So that's some game. She will test you. And it's to your benefit if you are perceptive of how she communicates. If you're perceptive of how she communicates, it's in your favour because each and every test you pass, you are seen more highly in her eyes. Hey, that's some game. On that note, I'm signing out. Click like and subscribe. I upload every day. I got two links down in the description. One is the catalogue of body language, how to read people through their subconscious behaviours. Over 220 videos. It's free because it's a YouTube playlist. Second to that is the Patreon, where you'll join me watching real life first dates. I'll break down attraction and repulsion body language. It's hardwired in all of us. So no matter where you are in the world right now, you'll see it in your fellow people. I'm signing out. Peace.